Yo, that's a crazy story. Like, so it was Player Poncho who connected yeah. you with John. And just from stuff that you wrote in your mama's basement and your crew was chanting, this led to him being like, yo, I want to give you a, uh, do you want to write a, um, do you want to record a song? And you go from being a DJ to a rapper? Overnight. My whole thing was, and, and me and him talked one time, he was like, because he DJ too at the same time, at that time too. Mm -hmm. He was DJing uh, reggae at the uh, Phoenix Dance Club or something. So I go, uh, my thing was, I just want to make a record that I can play while I'm DJing that's mine, you know? And I was talking to him about that one day after we had did the music. And he was like, that's what I want to do. I just really want to make a record that I could play that was mine while I'm DJing. It's like, wow, we was on we was on the same page. It was just crazy. But I'm going to tell you something, Sam. I always say DJs make the best producers and they make the best artists. And the reason being is because they spent the better part of their life in the clubs watching what makes people dance. So they understand that nightlife. They understand what it is in, you know, in terms of coming up with a dope hook, in terms yeah. of coming up with things that are memorable, in terms of making beats that, that you know, people just really want to go crazy to between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. in the morning. So yeah, it, it yeah, ain't no yeah. surprise that as both of y'all being DJs, y'all came up with so many club bangers. Um, right, right. I ain't so, think about it like that. Oh, yeah. I always say, th just think about sense. Dr. Dre to, 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 I don't know if Kanye was a, was, was a DJ, but but so many, you know, um, Clark Kent to yeah. so many huge DJs, whether they started being producers or rappers, they made some of the biggest club tracks, biggest tracks that traveled the world ever. That's Man, you fact. Know what? You know, you know, it's funny you say Clark Kent because he DJ for uh, Dana Dane. Mm hmm Do you know who my my dad's favorite rapper and DJ was? Who? Dana Dane and DJ Clark Kent. Get out of here. I kid you not. That's how I know Clark Kent DJ for Dana Dane. <laughs> my dad loved Dana Dane. Yeah. So my thing was as a DJ, who was the DJ? My dad told me, Clark Kent. Yeah, my dad used to work the um, what club? It was it was some, I think the Phoenix Dance Club. They came to, no, 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 no. It was, oh, I can't think of the name of the club, but it was some club that they came to and perform. And my dad was working doing the security for it. You know, what I'm saying he was working for the county sheriff, so he was like one of the officers that was out there. And he was he heard Dana Dane. Ever since then, he's like, I love him. Oh, I love him. Yeah, yeah. My dad listened to Dana Dane, man. He liked Dana Dane and DJ Clark Kent. Oh. Yeah, that was like his favorite. Nah, I mean, um, you know, and shout to Clark Kent. You 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 can look you can look from the beginning of, of hip hop history, damn near. Some of the I don't care if we talking about Dr. Dre, I don't care if we talking about uh Kanye, like they all had turntables before yep. they made their first beat. Oh, okay. Um, Lil John, he worked at um So So Death. Yeah. Why? Why did y'all first album? Why did who you, who you with come out on the independent Mirror Image? Everybody asked that man. Um, I even asked John. I'm like, why we just don't you know sign with Jermaine? Because I'm looking at it like you the A and R. Exactly. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't he sign this? I'm like, this is. Come on now. That's automatic right there. He said, nah, I don't want to. Now, as we get into the story, you're gonna you're gonna see, you're gonna see what I didn't see that I learned at the end. So I'm Understood. thinking, okay, so just putting that out there for the people. So I'm thinking, why not sign with so so depth? That's automatic. You the A and R. You know what I'm saying? He can automatically say, Yeah, I signed, yeah, we can do that, that deal, no problem. But we went with mirror image a local independent label, local now. Now, mind you, I didn't even know these people. John just said, hey, they want us to do an album. I didn't even know we was putting a record out on uh, Mirror Image. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was young, I was like 22, 23. 
So I'm not knowing. I'm looking for him to guide because you you already in there. You 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 A and R. You you. I'm looking at you. You know the ins and outs. So I'm looking for you to guide us in the best route or whatever. Not the best route for you, but the best route for the group or whatever. Mm -hmm. So putting that out there. Just keep all that in mind. So who you with comes out. Oh yeah, we're going to the studio. I don't know if we're going to the studio. We, I think we just maybe going to his house or something. I don't know. So we go to the, a studio studio. I'm like, whoa, I ain't never been to a real studio. Cool. So we had a studio studio. Just not me. I'm just not me, Carlos Glove. Just me, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up? Who, who, who's Carlos? Who's uh, Carlos? Carlos just... Glove is the um, CEO of Mirror Image Records. Okay. Go. Okay, good. Yeah, he's the CEO. And um just meeting them. So we in there, we doing our thing. Nothing, I don't know nothing about no mirror image or nothing. I just know we recording this record. That's all I know. And crazy part about that, I met while we was recording the Who You With, I met um George Clinton. What the hell had George go, Clinton got to do with it? With, with go pick George Clinton up, brother. D. George Clinton. Yes. We in the studio. We was on the little break time. You know, they were mixing, doing whatever they're doing. And um, who Ace? It was, I don't, I guess they still partners, but I know Carlos has still got mirror image, but it was Cool Ace and Carlos Glover. The uh, Lexus 300 had just came out, the bubble eye. Yep. I was like, man, I want to drive one of them. He had a green one. So, I guess they were getting ready to do something with George Clinton later on. So they were, he was like, hey, man, somebody want to take me to go pick up George Clinton? And I'm like, hell yeah. I said, I ain't driving my car. I want to drive your car. He said, yeah, drive my car. I ain't got no license. Yeah, thank you. We're going to pick up. We run to another studio, pick up George Clinton. And um, the female that was in the group, I can never think of her name. We picked them two up and we come back to the studio. And all of us just kicking it, listen to the music. They like the who you with. And everything. And now, man, you, I don't know nothing about no mirror image yet. So the tape come out. We ain't got our faces on the tape. The tape come out. Who you with? Mirror image record. I asked John, I said, who is that? Oh, that's Carlos and um, Cool H. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right, whatever. I ain't signed no paperwork or nothing. That, that's where I was about to go. I was I was waiting to. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's okay, coming. Go ahead. go ahead. It's coming. I ain't signed no paperwork or nothing. Just, we going to the studio. Boom, studio. Okay, cool. Tape come out. Still ain't signed no paperwork or nothing. I don't, me, I'm not thinking. So I'm like, okay, cool. It, song out, Freak Me come around. We passing out the tapes. That's how it got so hot because it went to all these different places from Freak Me. So six months after that, it was hot. I remember, um, I remember John said, hey, we're going to go to Greg Street. Like that. Oh, it's a radio station. But I ain't never been to the radio station. Let go. We meet Greg Street. We in there. Greg on a commercial break. He listens to the record. The record probably about two minutes in. He go, I like it, but when y'all going to rap? So we had to explain to him, no, those chants, that's the rap. Who you with? That's the hook. He was like, uh, he didn't get it yet. I don't know about that. All right, cool. So leave radio station. We still pumping, 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 pumping. We got shows going on here and there. And a few months later, Greg called, hey, I need that record. I need that record. I need that record. Get yeah, Greg the record again. We on the radio, record on fire. Boom, boom, boom. Still ain't signed no contract. Hey, man, they want us to do an album. All right, cool. I want to do an album. Out here got all this music I got. We recording, we recording, we recording, we recording. Still ain't signed no contract yet. But we recording, we recording, we doing shows, we doing shows. So we getting ready to do another album. And this one was on Itchy Barn Record. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.